I don't want to introduce them and they're smiling ever, you know, <laughs> the faces are there and they tick, you know. Awesome guys to have you. Thank you. Right next to me is another one, Muthoni Njoroge. Yes. Karibu sana. Santi sana. So excited about this money. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, you are. Right, yeah. right. Over to the other side, we have Joshua Mjomba. Is that so? Yes. Who is the head of Microphone. marketing? Yes. Karibu sana. Asante. Jovial as always. As always. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so right next to her, we have uh, Tulu Matilda. Matilda. Yes. Who is apparently happens to be a member of Spellcast. Yes. You're most I welcome. Am. Thank you very much. I love much. your hairstyle. Thank you. You look so cool. Yeah, atope oneza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's nice. I, I, I love the way you guys are so cool this morning. You know, it doesn't look like a morning. It looks like it's in Kitu Sasa 12, you know, when mm. people are now diesel is a role, yeah? you know, get mm. to the system. Yeah. Well, you're so much welcome. Thank you. Let me begin with you, Joshua. Spellcast does so much of guys of dancing, songwriting, and all this kind of stuff. Yes. Well, it's, it's a huge thing that you guys are doing. What are some of the things that are really outstanding in all this? Um, I think the biggest thing that's outstanding for Spellcast is that it gives an opportunity to the youth to be able to grow mm -hmm. in their talents, yes? Mm -hmm. Because we are an arts, media arts company, we do performing arts, right. uh, musicals, we act, we sing, there are models there, there are guys who write scripts, uh, there are models, as I said. Mm -hmm. So it gives everyone an opportunity to be uh, themselves, that's mm -hmm. number one. Right. Then again, we are not only ourselves, mm -hmm. but we are also a family. Because right. I think when you come and see us mm -hmm. during rehearsals, you'll see how in tune we are with each other. Yeah. Right. I, I love the way you're saying it. You know, we are family. <laughs> and I, I love it because even Tune is like, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. L let me come to Mbutoni. Yes. Probably can tell us what is Spellcast all about? Um, as you said, Spellcast who is, is... Who is Spellcast? Spellcast is us mm -hmm. and the other 50 plus people that mm -hmm. couldn't join us today morning. Mm -hmm. Spellcast is the arts. It's an, how do I say this? It's a description of what you'd want the arts to be in Kenya. That's in wow. my opinion. It's a family. It's a group. It's talent. It's all of it. I feel like it's everything encompassed into the group that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, you have been doing so much as he said about song dancing. You have people who do script. Mm -hmm. All these like uh, people that come and merge together. Like I am a songwriter on personal yeah. level. I am a dancer at the same time. Or we have different people. Um, you'll find that some that some people who have like as, on a personal level they mm -hmm. did that already. Like they did the script writing or the songwriting, and then came and joined us. And then there are others who came and joined us with an agenda of learning and growing in certain aspects and found themselves branching out into other areas like acting, mm -hmm. singing, dancing. Yeah, so it, it's a mixture of both. Like right. those that actually just came to learn and then those that came already knowing and just now spread their knowledge now to other people by helping them, teaching them, showing them A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. All right, l let, me, let me come to you too, Nu, and ask, of course, you're from Tanzania. Yes. Na umba kazi mwazi waliwa kiswahili. Wa weza? Ndiyo. Oh, magobea kweli? No. Anyway, yeah, well, let's not. Uh, let, let's, let's talk about the creativity part of it. The, how is the creativity being nurtured within all this? Because I understand that you deal with teens. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, kila mtu mwenye anakuja, no. spellcast, ana, anakuja na kili enye, <laughs> Let me just talk English. <laughs> and I could you are creative. You yes. understand me? Yes, yes. Like, kill them to you, ready to share what they have mm. in their mind right. and to explore new things. Like, mm -hmm. same mjomba, mm. aje na kitu kinye ya na fikiria kiko sawa. We'll all do what we see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But everyone, yes. and I put in a kine something new. Right. Your Kira own mtu. idea, you yeah. come, you help implement the yes. idea. Right. Uh, yes. So that's what exactly you guys do. Yes. But let me come back to you, Joshua. And it, it's really nice of what she has mentioned about creativity and coming up, you know, with your own idea. Yes. Let me ask if I come with an idea and the team finds like, wow, it's a good idea, but if only we can now twist it, kiddo God, to be like this, is there such an opportunity for change? Yes. Mm -hmm. What we do is that we ask everyone to be a team uh, player. Mm -hmm. You come up with something, we sit down together and think about it. Okay. Uh, see what we can add on to it and uh, make something solid. Mm -hmm. We have choreographers, mm -hmm. but it's not that they are the only one who do the choreography for our staff. Well, one of us might be having a better move than the choreographer and will suggest it. 
and be like, hey, let's do this, by the way. He, he move, he can mm-hmm. hear, but it uh, complement the other one. Mm-hmm. So it gives everyone an opportunity to play a part in making the whole production a big thing. Because we've done productions in the, in the past, oh. something like Soweto Burning. It was an adaptation of uh, the Mandela story and uh, Sarafina story. Oh. And it was done uh, mid last year. Right now we're, we're working at uh, doing more and more. Next year we'll probably have a wide array of things we'll be doing. Uh, other than that, we also perform during uh, corporate events, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, during dinners, during weddings, we have a band. It's called, it's a spellcast band. Oh, and it's, it's giving an opportunity to people to grow. We have solo artists. She's a solo artist, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have others, uh, like, uh, I'll just mention a few. Maybe mm-hmm. we have Lewell. Lewell Muridi. Awesome. We have Soila. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have James. So there are so many people. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, the founder of Spellcast, who is also a creative director, is giving everyone a chance right. to be what they want what to be. Just mention mm-hmm. him? He's called Andrew Tumbo. Wow, Andrew, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Andrew Tumbo, big up on your side. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have mentioned quite a number of things. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the numbers, you're working as a group and such kind of things. How many people exactly are you? At the moment, we are 55. Wow. That's and we are seeking to grow. Yes, we and all these are participating in these. Yes, mm-hmm. we all participate. We all we meet every weekend for rehearsal Saturday and Sunday, and uh, we come together and work together. Mm-hmm. All the fifty. All right. Of of which I see you have set designers, in, instrumentalists rather. We have photographers, video animators. All this is part of art. Yes, mm-hmm. you know, being incorporated in in one in one team. Yes. How do you get to organize yourselves? We have organized ourselves in kind of a military situation. Right. <laughs> when you get there, All right. like our, our creative director or founder mm-hmm. is a general. Mm, yes. And there's a group of generals. Mm. Then we have brigadiers. There's brigadier general. Right. There is lieutenants. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is uh, the troopers. Mm-hmm. She is a trooper. <laughs> She's a brigadier. And I'm a brigadier general. <laughs> She's a brigadier in charge of Alto. All right. Yes, yeah. she's a trooper. I think she needs to do that. Yeah, <laughs> she should. And then right. I'm brigadier general, which uh-huh. means I am in charge of helping or organizing mm-hmm. uh, the troops, mm-hmm. which are now made of the troopers, mm-hmm. and getting word from the generals, who are now our leaders, our mm-hmm. forefront leaders, yes. All right. I, I love the cooperation and how you're working together. And big up to your leader. You know, he, he's really doing good. Yes. And looking at some of your core values in Muthoni, there's something called creativity. There's you know, passion, there's teamwork, then of course there's discipline, as you mentioned about even teamwork. Mm. But I want us to talk about passion. Mm. Passion in art is the driving force. Yes. When someone comes and they are passionate about, let's talk about video editing, and then, or rather they come, they want to do video editing, but their mm. passion, according to your own view of things, seems to be in a different field. Mm. How would you advise them? Um, I... I okay as me personally yes. <laughs> I just tell them to maybe be a bit more open minded because you find with the guys who are normally very restricted with their view mm-hmm. they tend to find it hard to listen to you like when you tell them no I'd like my video edited a certain way it's the reason I'm calling out to you is because I don't have that particular skill oh. so because you have that skill I'd like you to help me do it in a certain way so I think it's just more of a call to be more open-minded and more receptive to things because the thing about art art is very wide it's mm-hmm. very broad my view of art most probably wouldn't be the same view you have of art sure. most probably wouldn't be the same view he has of art or she has of art so I think the one thing that Spellcast has been able to do is bring all those views mm-hmm. and just bring them together and create a, an environment which allows you to be more open-minded mm-hmm. about certain situations. Like he said, when someone has a different move to give in, yeah, they're choreographers, they're resident choreographers, mm-hmm. but also now, if, you're, if they feel like your idea is better, mm-hmm. they let you incorporate it. The same thing when we are being taught a song by Andrew. If at any point you give an idea and he actually really enjoys it, be like, no, no, go sort yourselves out, go learn that idea, and then we come, we'll try and implement it. If it doesn't work, we're gonna try it again and just oh. make it better, yeah? So I think it's just the idea of being open-minded, right. yeah. Right, and that's quite a good lesson to, to get learned. You mm. know, you, when you're joining the field, get to be open-minded. Yeah. I've, we've reached out to the CBC, mm. was just <laughs> coming, he's trying to tell us, you know, as we did 844, <laughs> and the CBC is trying to tell us, like, you know what, guys, be open-minded, can do anything, it can be anything. Yeah. Le, 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 Joshua, yes. uh, you have said that you've done, you've done State House performances. Yes. You have done it, Safaricom, and big other big companies. Yes. 
if I want to host you for like a wedding, yes. how, how does it go? Well, uh, on our social media, mm -hmm. we go by the name Spellcast Media, right. K-E. Mm -hmm. uh, wherever you search Spellcast mm -hmm. Media, you will only find one. Mm -hmm. That's us. So there's no others. Uh -uh. Just At our YouTube, ni Spellcast Media, ni CC. There is no one else. So <laughs> when you get there, <laughs> you'll find our contact information. We have an email, which mm -hmm. is info at spellcast.co.ke, mm -hmm. and you also have our number. Now from our, it's easier from our social media platforms because you, there's a call button, mm -hmm. so it is easier for you to, and you see our response is immediate. Mm -hmm. And if it's not immediate, then it's within the, the first hour or two. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for us to, to, because you see, for such events, it's a matter of logistics, there's a lot of planning. Yes, we need to understand work. what the nature of the events and everything, mm -hmm. so that we can give you an, a, a specific quote mm -hmm. for that particular event. All right. Yes. You, you, let me, uh, Tono. Let me come to you. You guys do makeup. You do all this kind of stuff, like makeup, you know, costuming, and far much beyond what even we can think about art. And the way you're doing is quite exemplary. So I can say, what, how do you get to merge these things? like makeup, you know, artists, then you talked about music, and yet you do music yourself? Yes. You're part of music? Yes. Okay, when we go, or probably, let me just ask you in the field of music, when you go to out for a field, what's some of the things that you, we are anticipating from you? Kidogo. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, come <laughs> on! <laughs> 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 okay, uh -huh. again the question. Uh, if, when you go for music, as you said, that you do, we have done safari com, You've done so much of so much of like even going outside, yeah. What are some of the things that you feel like in the music that need to be like I need to hit on this line? Or rather, let's have Joshua. Joshua, yes. Joshua, Joshua, what do you think? <laughs> I think uh -huh. once you come watch Spellcast, mm -hmm. you, uh, your thinking about uh, choir yeah. will change because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you see, well. It's cool for us to say we're a chorus. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a chorus. First of all, you're not a choir. Mm. We don't just stand and sing. There's a lot of involvement with the crowd. We ride on the wave of just having fun. Mm -hmm. Just have fun there, involve everyone, let them have fun. So that's one thing that you'll take home. Right. You'll think about spellcast and how, eh, I've never seen a choir move like this or sing like this because there's so many harmonies there, you know? Mm -hmm. There's so much movement. There's so much dancing and you're like, so I can still sing and dance at the same time. And the vocal strength is not affected at all. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of fun for us because right. we, we mm -hmm. enjoy being on stage, yes. Mm -hmm. So like, talking about, you know, even enjoying, uh, there's that constant of like, you know, being cool, calm, collected. So you're trying to break out the protocol to mm -hmm. bring something mm -hmm. totally different. Mm -hmm. And I see one of you is nodding like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, know. you see, we have our signature outro for almost okay. every other time. Yeah. It's a haka. All we'll, right. We'll just do a haka and we'll get well and guys will be like, hi -ya. So, <laughs> where did that come from? You know, haka is for sports people, mm -hmm. but no, haka is for anyone. You know, it's right. for us, it's, it's our signature. Okay, mm -hmm. Motoni, what makes you outstanding in this uh, spellcast? Me as an individual, no, or, or, or just a spellcast. Mm -hmm. um, our level of talent, mm -hmm. number one, mm -hmm. and it's how we're able to bring in other elements of art into mm -hmm. our performance. For example, You'd be able to tell. Okay, can I? I think I'd like to use the example of our finals. Mm -hmm. We used the element of storytelling to tell a story for not stopping the music. For the music will always keep going on. Mm -hmm. So it's just <coughs> being able to bring in all those elements to enhance the performance that makes us different. Because you won't find many groups or choirs or choruses doing what we do. You won't find many guys getting body art done for a particular performance. Most mm -hmm. of the time it's just maybe makeup, but you won't find someone combining makeup and body art. Mm -hmm. And you won't, it's very rare to find choirs having like costumes. Like when I say costumes, I don't mean at kill them to uniform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way guys normally have like a standard uniform. No, mm -hmm. as when it's costumes, it's actual costumes. So you won't find many people doing that with their choruses or their choirs but as guys with our vocals like mm -hmm. njamba said it's crazy harmonies from andrew tumbo mm -hmm. um to the costuming to the makeup and body art now when you bring all that in stage mm -hmm. on stage with the choreography mm -hmm. and the <coughs> instrumentalists 
it, it enhances the performance, it makes it enjoyable, it makes people want to watch you again and right. again and right. again. Yeah. Moving on, let me ask you, mm. you've talked about all these people being in one platform. Mm. Do you join the video editors, you join the choreographer, the makeup artist, you join all of them on set and they get to do all these things? Join them on set in what mm. way, sorry? Like for instance, when you're performing, yeah. there's the makeup artist who does your makeup and mm. all things are joined up together and you go to the set. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so like, um, you'll have... Most of the times, normally, most of these things normally happen backstage. So mm, yeah. for like the makeup and the body art, you'll have them done backstage. And then even for some of them, they actually join us on stage mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, do the thing with us. But most of the time, it's just, yeah, most of the time, we also help them out. We learn from them so that we can also make their work easier. Because you can imagine like having a few people do body art for over 50 people. It's also not mm -hmm. an easy feat because mm -hmm. there are many people. So, yeah, it's also learning from them. And if they tell us, oh, help us with this, we're also ready to learn and help them with that. So that in the future, mm -hmm. if they tell us, I expect this from you, I'd be like, okay, yeah, let's go do this because I know what they expect from me. Yeah. All right. Uh, other than other than wedding and, of course, these other big events, what else have you been doing, Joshua? Um, most of our year this year has been basically focused on East Africa Got Talent. Mm -hmm. And we managed to be the finalist. Kenya's finalist among the two. You are one Thank of them. You. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Uh, we, of course, we did not win, mm -hmm. but we won the hearts of many. All right. We did not win the prize, but we won the hearts of many. That's mm -hmm. what I believe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we are currently working on a few plays that we want to be showcasing next year. Yes. We want to work on concerts because we normally do these things once in a... Uh, uh, we normally do three shows a year. Mm -hmm. So next year we probably will be showing a lot mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. and uh, helping people come to our shows not the platform like EAGT where it is other people's shows only. We will now be focusing on us. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of the year, we will be engaged in uh, a lot of mall tours here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some and private... Tours, for instance, where? For instance, uh, Garden City. Right. We'd like to work with them in the future. Mm -hmm. We have worked before with uh, uh, this, the mall in Karen. The hub, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So we want to continue working with them, continue working with Yaya, Yaya Center, mm -hmm. and uh, just giving guys musical therapy, because oh. we, uh, I mean, music, therapy. music is therapy. Uh, you had mentioned something off air about funerals. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know that guys who really want music would uh -huh. suit you. Right. You'd be bereaved, but when you listen to music and it would maybe teach you, I mean, remind you about something that your lost one has. Mm -hmm done in the past and you like yes it comes me because music does that mm -hmm. yes. there's something you used to learn back in high school in swahili something you used to do with <coughs> sorry we used to talk about it like kuna zile music kadha zinazo far like kwa mazishi kwa matanda rather kuna zile siji za za nini lugha ambayo inafaa kutumika kwa nyaya soko na nini kama hizo when you're sitting down you guys to analyze like this is what you're supposed to be singing you know it's it's safari common it's bland and all that kind of stuff what are some of the things that you look at we look at what kind of event it is first. Mm -hmm. If it's a funeral, of course, you just don't go singing. A, I don't know. <laughs> this, this they can say better. They can talk yeah, better. They can talk better <laughs> yes. about that, you know. But when it comes to a, an event like Safaricom, mm -hmm. these are people who are here to en to be entertained. Mm -hmm. They want. They don't want to just go there and be, you be dull. You, you can't sing a song and you're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you're here to entertain guys, they'll sleep, they'll doze off, they'll be like, ah, these guys are wasting my time. So we make sure that we do not waste people's time. Mm -hmm. to get them entertained. Mm -hmm. That's number one. All right. Yeah. Uh, when, when we talk about uh, going to the field, about even you talking about EGT, mm -hmm. you guys walked through a journey from zero all the way to the finals. Yeah. How was the journey? Wow. Hey. It was a tough one, but at the same time, a learning experience. Uh -huh. In the sense that um, the growth between when it began to when we finished the finals, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any person who remained the same. I don't think there's any person who can say the way I entered as Mudan is the way I left as Mudan. You know, it changed people, and I think the one thing, the one element that was in, the two elements that were enhanced mm -hmm. were creativity, innovation, and mm -hmm. discipline. Those are the two, because now you know, because it's are TV, part of your which are part, yeah, and mm -hmm. I think, okay, for, for the core values, I feel like values, in as much as they are there, mm -hmm. they can always grow and they can always be enhanced, mm -hmm. so um, I think that, that those are the two things that, because it pushed people, it challenged people, mm -hmm. 
eh, he's trying to push us. That one I can tell you for a fact. We've had we had sleepless nights trying to create, trying to come up with something that would we would be able to say, we're proud of putting this on stage. We're okay with this. We've done, mm -hmm. we knew we, we did our best. So like we've done our best for this one, but it challenged us. It pushed us, I can't even yeah. begin to say, but also it was an experience. It was a learning mm -hmm. experience um, doing TV for the first time for majority of people, especially in that sense, mm -hmm. because it's a competition. So there's a lot of things that go into just working and you know doing the things with the guys because they were also an amazing crew so yeah it was a learning experience but also it pushed people i i don't think anyone left the same i really don't oh. and if you left the same you didn't Dude, you weren't let me hear from you. how was the experience it was breathtaking mm -hmm. uh kwanza for me being in like i used to watch this americans got talent videos mm -hmm. i really wanted to go to perform in their americans got talent <laughs> but it came to east africa so mm. i was so happy and it was so exciting. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it was, it, it, it's like pushed me to my, to my hardest level. I was, I was almost breaking. <laughs> I was at my breaking point. But Asante kwa mungu alinifikisha. But it was a very nice experience. Meeting new people, mm -hmm. doing new things. Exposure. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Actually, it was very nice for all me. Right. Yes. Right. Joshua, were you part and part of all these? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Sick watching your magic. Sing A. 150 million people were watching. I mean, it's the, it maybe was supposed to be the break for every individual right. in a certain different way. So, yes, I was yeah. part of it. Mm -hmm. I sing bass. Mm -hmm. She sings alto. She sings soprano. Mm -hmm. So, together, we did something great. Right. And Before it, you tell us the journey, you said you guys are doing different things, but in music. So can we do something? <laughs> Not now. What is, what is, Everyone what is, is like something? Let's see, Joshua. Yeah, still has the journey. So the journey, other than just growth, mm -hmm. because it was a different experience. You know, live TV is not what we all thought yeah, it was. Gosh, wow, wow, wow. So all the way from the first day when we were queuing, mm -hmm. queued at 6.30 a.m. Right. at KICC. Mm -hmm. It was not easy to get you know, it's 50 people mm -hmm. from different houses. Unambiana, come at 6.30. There's someone who will come at 6.40, 7, <laughs> because <laughs> it's traffic from different areas. Mm -hmm. So it was different. Mm -hmm. uh, it was not so easy, because it's working under pressure as well. Then there's, there's that butterfly feeling you have, because, eh, will we make it? That's the pre-auditions. There's now the auditions. There's, will we go to the next level? Mm -hmm. You know, in Africa point, even though you know you're good, you start doubting and you're like, mm. eh. Because you, you haven't see seen else. other guys. Yeah. 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 You know, you haven't seen other guys. And, like, and therefore, there's stories like, hey, nasikia wale ni wazuri, wale wa TZ, wale wa UG, wale wa... Because there are guys who are beautiful on that stage, and we, I'm glad we, we got the chance to meet them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Th that's nice. And let me ask you, Muthoni, mm. uh, the art business and the industry is really growing quite in a significant way in the country. Yeah. Even the makeup artists and live mm. with the increasing rate of radio and TV television stations. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the business? Is it something that we need to cultivate more? Yes, it's something we need to cultivate more because um, as time goes by, there are avenues that are created mm -hmm. for cultivation of these businesses mm -hmm. so i also feel like there's nothing like saturation when it comes to art i don't right. know and there's nothing like saturation mm -hmm. so they won't figure a point where you'd be like eh we don't actually we have enough artists which are, no it's we don't need anymore it will always continue growing and with art growing there'll be need for more of performers mm -hmm. there'll be need for more artists there'll be need for artists of all kinds so I feel like it's something that needs to be cultivated because mm -hmm. in other countries you've seen the cultivation of art earning people a living so something that needs to be cultivated here at home so that we can also earn a living from it. Do you think in Kenya we are really embracing it as fast no. as we that it's paid? No. Mm -hmm. It's not being embraced as fast because there's still that mentality of go to school when you go to school <laughs> you go and then you go to university and then you get your degree and uh -huh. when you get your degree you know, you go and work, and f not everyone is built that way. Like, yeah, if you are being system. honest, yeah, but, and mm -hmm. it's not it doesn't work that doesn't work for everyone the same way that it would work for someone else who would actually go to school and enjoy, you know, being a doctor or being an engineer. That's not for everyone, and I think it's high time that we just admit mm -hmm. that it's not for everyone. Yeah, work for high school for you, Joshua. Is this thing paying? 
It is paying, uh -huh. but I can tell you for sure, if by the time you convince someone that this art mm -hmm. is worth yeah. the amount of money you're asking for, it's quite, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think what we need to do, probably as a country, is mm -hmm. to embrace the fact that art is you, art is me, mm -hmm. art is everyone. Mm -hmm. You as a person, as a, is, uh, you're a masterpiece. And when you come together and create another masterpiece, it takes time, it takes skill. Mm -hmm. The same skill that is used in the business world is the same skill that an artist will use to make his or her thing a big deal. Mm -hmm. What I think we need to embrace as Kenyans, as the government, as the county governments, the 47 maybe, mm -hmm. is that we need to create more art centers. Mm -hmm. Ensure that art comes back mm -hmm. to education system with a bang. Right. Yeah. Mm. Time and skills. Yes. Two things you have really mentioned, they are quite relevant in our time. Mm -hmm. Do you think, first thing, do you think as young people, we are giving ourselves enough time in the closet to think of what really we want in the art industry? Those who are in art mm -hmm. are spending countless hours. All right. Maybe those who are not in art yeah. and maybe because of, uh, I don't know, the way the world is, mm -hmm. they need to come out of it. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Think about the thing that you love doing. I know my dad usually tells me, do the thing you love most. You'll enjoy it, you'll get money from it, you'll, yeah. You see, when you do these things that you love, mm -hmm. there is no way you'll uh, give up. Mm -hmm. You'll keep on pushing. And that's one thing I have seen in Spellcast since I joined. It's been a year for me. Yes, talking about the business, and you talked about uh, skills as the second point. Mm -hmm. How can we merge the skills and the track that we need end month? Um, the same way mm -hmm. remuneration is done based on, <laughs> <laughs> based on the type of job you're doing uh -huh. is the same way we can do that. Mm -hmm. You can amount, because in any job setting, mm -hmm. they are basically telling you, I, what are your skills? Okay, so for experience. your skills mm -hmm. and your experience, mm -hmm. we'll give you this amount of money. All right. So that's the same thing that needs to be done for the art industry. Because other than the skill, of course the skill will come out in, mm -hmm. the, in terms of how it is produced at the end. So you cannot have a bad production and expect to get very good pay. Mm -hmm. You need to have a very good production and expect very good pay, not a very good production and a bad pay. Okay. It doesn't go together. Mothoni Joshua is talking about something. I don't know whether you agree with him. <laughs> He's talking about experience. You know, it's a song that we've been hearing and people have been told. Mm. We need experience. Okay, skills, is, it's necessary. It's, it's pretty yeah. good, we can say. Yeah. Do you think if involve experience will exclude a section of young people? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm in between because mm -hmm. <laughs> there's people mm -hmm. who might not necessarily have that experience mm -hmm. that maybe the three of us have, mm -hmm. but because they've been doing that thing of singing in their bedroom yeah. and they're good and maybe like their mom and dad have had them or like friends <laughs> mm -hmm. and they're actually good at what they do. Now they want to put them out mm -hmm. on a platform where they can maybe try their performance. I feel like it's it's an in between depending <laughs> depending on where you get your experience from because mm -hmm. why I get my experience from won't be the same from where he gets his experience from mm -hmm. especially because now like art is very art is broad yeah. like I had said the way I experience art or the way I perceive art won't be the same way anyone else perceives art mm -hmm. and now because of that I feel like for art experience yes might be a good thing for you as an artist. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, because of how broad it is, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily matter. Because I can hear something you sing or say or do or write or mm -hmm. something, you know, see it, mm -hmm. and I really enjoy it and I enjoy it to the fullest. But someone else watching and be like, ah, no, it it's not. It doesn't work for me. And that's that, that's the thing with art. Because mm -hmm. unlike um, the other types of jobs, especially mm -hmm. like with business, for like experience. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, we want maybe five years, when you're going through the, the requirements, mm -hmm. we want five years, you've, ha you've had five years of experience, working at CG, as CG at what level, you know, mm -hmm. such things. Mm -hmm. But, and then, because you know, those are the skills you're going to, like, because those are set skills that you learn. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to be innovative so that yes. you can grow. But for art, because it's, it's very wide, very, very, very wide, mm -hmm. I feel like experience sometimes might matter, sometimes really mm -hmm. doesn't matter. All right, guys, yeah. because of time, I'm going to give you guys a parting shot. Everyone, 30 seconds. And I'd like, of course, even you to finish up by telling us, for you, Joshua, tell us where we can find you guys. Of course, you look at this camera for the two of you, and of course, for you, you'll be looking at that camera. Okay. And from mm -hmm. there, I don't know, we begin with Mothoni, who's right next to me. 
uh, um, you just do what you love. Um, this art industry is big enough for everyone. When I say everyone, I mean everyone. So do what you love. If you're doing music, if you're doing dance, if you're writing, if you're doing a videography, if you're doing anything to do with art, just do what you love. Yeah. All right, let's have Joshua the man. Yes. So as Mudonia said, mm -hmm. love what you do and do what you love. That will be the best thing for you as an individual. Um, for us at Spellcast, for you to be, be able to reach us, mm -hmm. for those who are interested in joining and learning, mm -hmm. those who are interested to join us and learn from us, you can get us from all our social media, that's Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, YouTube at Spellcast Media KE. Yes. All right, let's have family from Tanzania to you. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's just to tell people that they always believe in themselves, mm -hmm. never give up, and always pray. Pray, pray, pray. Mungu mm atakupeleka -hmm. places. Wow, many thanks, guys, for Thank coming you. along and, of course, having an interaction with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Well, that's it. And, of course, three things I've learned. Be open minded in joining the business. And, of course, it's not just an easy road, but trust you me, you're going to thrive if only you have an open mind. And, of course, two more things. Time and skills. Invest in these two. And you're going to find yourself open and, of course, for the market as we are growing every day. My name is Karanja Alex. Of course, Barry Moss has come comes up just after this. Don't go anywhere. This is Y254.